and we're going to see where we're at for boost and we're going to get our fuel dialed in. So let's pay attention. If it runs lean, I'm going to be watching what the air fuel is doing. If it runs lean, I'm going to back out of it. I'm not going to keep going and making a pull. Um, if it runs rich, I'll just let it go and we'll finish the pull out. So let's see what we have here. Let's go ahead and record. It's definitely running lean. So let's go ahead here and stop it. And we can see in our lambda overlay, we're in open loop, so we can trust the values in here. If we kind of look, take a look at what our actual lambda values were. 15, 16 air fuel. Obviously, it's too lean. I didn't want to continue to make the pull. I boarded the pool. So let's jump into the overlay here. Look at the percentages. I'm just going to grab my values in here. Looking at this, I'll just add 20% here, 20% here, control J, 20%. And we can see they had this odd value here. It went to zero. I notice it does this sometimes. Do 1157. We'll just fix that real quick. Let's jump back into our overlay. Um, we can see it was lean here. I'll go ahead and add 10%. It looks like it was also a little lean in here, showing our overlay. I'll add 12%. Actually, probably just bump up to column 10. We want them to be evenly spaced. And then column 6 here, it looks like it might need a little fuel, so we'll add 5% there. So we just want our, our lines evenly spaced. We're just taking a look at what this is reporting here. Control L, Control S, let's save. Control clear the table, Control S saved. Let's try that again and see where we're at. Let's go ahead here. And actually, before we do that, let's jump into our graph. Let's see where the boost went. Um, looking at our fuel tuning here, as we're kind of panning up here, we got to about 4,400, five pounds of boost. So that's okay. Air fuel is obviously lean at 14. 